Before we start, I'd like to briefly mention a zine I've made all about my trip to Guernsey. It covers the whole three day walk around the island and the last day exploring St. Peter Port. It's full of lots of uh, watercolours from my journey. It's only uh, £4, including post and packaging in the UK, or 99p to download on the website. Thank you very much, everyone who's bought a copy. Good morning, cool dudes, and it is another fantastic morning. And welcome to part two of what is now going to be most of the Guernsey coastal path. I'm here at St. Pierre du Bois and I'm trying to walk as far as I can today, hopefully 12 or 13 miles. Let's go on with it, all right? Good luck everyone, especially me. German observation tower reminds me of half of the uh, Pink Floyd album cover. And Germany invaded Guernsey on the 30th of June 1940 and were here for five years and Hitler ordered the permanent fortification of the Channel Islands. That's why all these um, observation towers and artillery batteries are made. They were equipped with guns at a range of 22 kilometers. Yeah, my gun is so big. I don't know if it's PC to do German accents. Probably not. Out there, cool dudes, that is the Hanoi Lighthouse, which was completed in 1862 and manned right up until 1996. The lighthouse was built because over 40 ships were wrecked here between 1807 and Signal Rock, and that is where the wives would send messages to their husbands who were on duty at the lighthouse. Quite tempted to go for a swim at some point. And that is Fort Grey, which was built in 1804 during the Napoleonic War. It is now home to a shipwreck museum. I thought this bit would be a long, a nice footpath, but actually you're just walking on the road for quite some time. This is the first week in July and the beach is very quiet. Ah yes, Le Cour Effet, the fairy cave. It is actually a Neolithic tomb, but locally it's known as the Cave of the Fairies. They said that fairies came out at midnight, did moonlight dances. Hello? I was reading through my excellent folklore, myths and legends of Britain book, and there are quite a lot of fairy stories around Guernsey, and the Guernsey lily is said to be a gift to a lady called Marie, something rather, I'll write it here, who found a youthful fairy man in a hedge, and she fell in love with him, and he gave it to her as a gift. Hmm, a wonderful story. And that's the crew of fairies here. And I've walked up here and there's my view of Liho Island. I can't pronounce it properly, but you can walk up there at low tide. And that's where the monks used to have their priory. 
and there are ruins of it you can see in the distance. I think all the German observation towers make me feel like I'm in some sort of 1984 weird um, apocalyptic other universe. Despite the lack of people, there is still always the classic overtanned old man in tight shorts walking along by the sea. Whatever beach you go to in the world, there is always an old man in tight shorts. If the entire beach is deserted and there's only one person, it will be the old man in his tight shorts. That pulled pork baguette was 4 95 an excellent value. Yeah. Cool dude, it's a hot day, 20 or so degrees. You've just walked nine miles. What ice cream do you go for? Answers below. Thank you very much. This is Kobo, which is a bit more touristy. And back there, there were a few bars and restaurants and things, but I think I prefer the more secluded parts of the island. found a nice spot away from everyone. I think that might have been my favorite bit of the day called do, just sitting down and doing a painting. So maybe that Augustine Renoir had it right that you just find somewhere nice, do a painting of it and then sell it for a million francs. I've seen your painting. It's not even worth one franc. Ugh, I knew you'd ruin everything, sunglasses, Marek. This is more like it. Also, if you've enjoyed this video, you can help me make more by joining the Cool Dudes Walking Club on this website, and you get this incredible membership pack. Even better, you can join on YouTube, and you get to use these emojis and see videos that no one else can see, exclusive content. And that even helps me much more. Thank you very much to everyone who has joined. Nice one, cool dudes. Well, because of my inability to read maps correctly, I've sort of um, ended up about three bays short of where I thought I was. But I've left about 11 and a half miles for tomorrow. Today's walk was 11.75 miles. It took me seven and a half hours, roughly. What did I think of the walk? The hilly bit is beautiful and really enjoyable. The beaches are lovely, but there's too much road walking. I really enjoy the end bit. My advice is try and get off the roads where possible and give yourself time to sit down and rest more because it's quite hard on the feet. All right, prize draw for members coming up next. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, stay cool. All right, see you later. Prize this week is the zine, spotter's handbook, strawberry laces, all the new stickers and the cool badges. Nice one. Currently there are 858 members on the website and 200 on YouTube, making a total of 1,058. Random number generator. Generate me a number. Generate 943. And that means it's the 85th person to join on YouTube who is Michael Davis. Nice one, Michael. This will be on its way in the post to you.